Hello traders at Samurai Trader here welcome to this video how to day trade any market this is session 57 the $1,000 a day challenge as I always state if you want to earn more than $1,000 of course you can add contracts now what I teach you in these videos you can apply to any market whether it be futures Forex or stocks now as always I do need to pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading please feel free to pause the recording and read the disclaimer if you require what does a day trading career really mean to you and I should say what does a profitable day trading career mean to you freedom personal freedom financial freedom fun um, a family freedom it just gives you so much freedom and unfortunately though it does mean you need to put some effort into it and that is I still come across traders every day that think think you can basically watch a YouTube video uh, or read a book and you can be up and running profitably traders you've got to become a student of the market but the great thing is trading is not rocket science it's about patience discipline and screen time now I can shortcut that for you but just remember you do have to put some work into it now I do have a live trading webinar that I've actually recorded for live trades uh, already so I've actually recorded I can't remember how many live trades has been over a week ago now I recorded which um, uh, if you register for my ebook or one of the other offers I've got down in the uh, description down below you will receive uh, an invitation to watch my webinar on demand means you can watch it at any time where I'll show you where I've actually recorded as I'm trading live so if you request my ebook or one of the other offers below uh, you will get a link uh, to the live recorded webinar of how I actually trade live now if you haven't requested my ebook previously please click on the description link below uh, even better still become a member for $197 and just a very quick advertisement okay it'll be over in 30 seconds for $197 you get all of my indicators uh, you have uh, there there are literally dozens of powerpoints there's hundreds of hours of uh, video instruction the great news is no you don't have to watch it all um, uh, and you get all of this for 197 and I also have a bonus going at the moment that you can attend for one month uh, my live coaching sessions that is I run eight live two hour recorded sessions each week there's a couple of hundred traders will typically be in the session or watch the recordings uh, there's a ton of downloadable handouts go with those that's included uh, for in or I should say in your $197 if you wish to uh, uh, continue with those sessions I've been running those sessions for years now it's $197 a month you can drop me an email at the end of your your free month and say look I'd like to continue I'll then send you the details so that's it let's move on so in today's video we're going to be looking at four trades for four wins in 60 minutes of trading now I'm what I call a scalper I love to hear the cash register ring which means uh, I like to get in and get out I'm not really uh, a fan of trailing or going for larger targets but that's my personality so we all have different trading personalities some traders love to swing trade while hold an overnight position others might be in a position for four or five hours so it really comes down to individual techniques now what I teach you here you can apply to uh, any time frame it really doesn't matter traders so in this particular session I was up uh, in 50 minutes of trading up 1195 uh, after 50 minutes after commissions though unfortunately we've got to pay commissions it was $1,090.50 now this chart we're going to go to a clean chart that is I've labeled this for my members as I was trading and I'll explain this when we go to the live charts uh, in a moment so uh, 
in the end and I actually had a major blunder here which I'll, I don't know what I was thinking which I'll explain in a moment so there were five trades for four wins one loss in 50 minutes now of course targets you might be after three hundred dollars a day five hundred dollars a day per lot it really depends on how much time you wish to put in to your trading now I do however have a couple of secret weapons number one I am virtually always trading in the direction of the higher time frame which I'll show you when we get to the live charts in a moment the second thing is understanding how to trade pivots and areas of support and resistance it's very easy once you understand what they are for an example this white line up here this is the prior days close and you'll see time and time again we bounce off those levels so it's very very important that you understand pivot levels the prior days open high low and close ah yeah I tell you, tell you what I am rusty because <laughs> I've actually got the list there the, the uh, prior days open high long close where your major EMAs are being the 89 and 200 the intraday swing highs and lows the current days and if particularly if I'm trading oil uh, round numbers they are also very important now very quickly if you're new to my video uh, or videos I should say make sure you subscribe to my channel by the way click on the on the link on the screen so don't forget to do that so you can keep up to date with these but I do need to show you this and that is if you start off with a three and a half thousand dollar account and target two hundred dollars a day which is a realistic target you've got the potential of earning ten thousand dollars a week within 11 weeks now what's very very important with this spreadsheet traders is unlike a lot of compound sheets which you see which are really just not realistic the way that my sheets work and the trading plans that I put together with my members is you trade one contract until you double your money then you start trading two you get another 3,500 or 4,000 in your account then you start trading another so on this basis on $200 a day uh, you've got the potential of 10,000 a week and your account size would be $44,000 in that time now I also know that many traders don't have those sorts of funds initially and even if you do have those funds why don't you start on the micros that is there are now what we call micro contracts which are 10% of the value and so on the basis of going for 10% of the net profit as well only $20 a day in 11 weeks your account is now $4,400 now you can go over and start trading the big contracts so in other words in 11 weeks earning only $20 a day I've now built my account up to 4,400 on $20 a day and increasing on the same basis once I have another $350 I start trading another contract you're using the markets money now as I mentioned you may already have those sorts of funds but why not for your first month or two start on the micros cut your teeth on the smaller contracts make all the rookie mistakes you're going to make in that time before you go across to the big contract now what it basically means is it if you start with $350 in 11 weeks your accounts now fall four you then roll over to trading the big contract now in 22 weeks your now your account size is now 44,000 and you've got the potential of earning 10,000 a week trading uh, how many contracts was that <laughs> sorry I just forgot there was a uh, around uh, 12 contracts 10 to 12 contracts a week now unfortunately traders most traders are not willing to um, uh, do the hard yards and that's what it really takes when it comes to trading everyone wants to get rich quick now I know I offend traders and I know that some members will never become or some of a public will never become a member because I'm direct and I tell the truth this is what it takes okay it's not rocket science but you've got to learn the patterns now one other thing too before we go to the charts is which chart type is the best 
look it doesn't matter what type of chart you trade whether it be a time based chart a tick chart a Renko a range as long as it gets the job done now you'll see me refer to and use Renko charts most of the time why because they work and they're so much easier for a newer trader to trade or an, a trader that's been struggling with their trading but it doesn't matter the, the setups that I teach here you can uh, apply to any chart type so just before we go to the charts a couple of things I mentioned we need to consider where are the pivot levels now thanks to most trading platforms uh, they will plot these automatically pivot levels um, open up a prior days open high low and close 89 and 200 EMAs your intradays well intraday there are swing indicators which I have but uh, on some platforms you may not have that but it's easy when you know what you're looking for the current days high and low they act very much like pivots and as I mentioned if you trade oil round numbers are also very very important so let's go to the charts and have a look at what I did here now this is a little bit before I got started now first of all uh, one thing I want to mention is the chart time frame I'm using a very small or very low time frame here this is what we call a four tick Renko which means each one of these candles or bricks that's what Renko means in Japanese is worth $20 that is each tick value on the NQ is five dollars each one of those is twenty dollars each step you see stepping down is worth ten dollars it's impossible virtually to trade this during the New York open or during the New York hours okay so we trade or I should actually say to you which is the right time frame frame to trade whichever is tradable meaning if the market picks up I might jump up to a six tick or to an eight tick or even a 12 tick and my maximum is 16 tick in size but there are some challenges with that that is the higher the time frame and the, the, the larger your potential stop loss is so what that means is you may have to uh, have it you'll not may you have to have a larger account now after 6 p.m. the four tick is very tradable that is unlike the stock market which closes uh, most countries around the world the futures market closed closes down for an hour uh, and so you can trade these setups um, basically 23 hours a day and of course if you trade Forex basically 24 5 you can trade these so let's look at the setups that I actually took here now first of all I have a lot of my members uh, watching this so we can see over here we had a t10 classic t10 another t10 uh, that would have been um, uh, probably a 2b we then rallied back up little t19 that was a 3b thank you and now we're coming down to where I'm going to be looking for trades now traders this is what you need to learn is how to trade from the right hand side now a t19 and and uh, well let me confirm that was a t19 uh, a t19 is a type of divergence trade okay and let me just pull this up so what I've got on the right there by the way ah uh, yes it's just a t19 so what I've got on the right there traders is what we call an anchor chart an anchor chart is a higher time frame and I've come up with a simple mathematical equation which tells me what's the anchor chart one and anchor chart two and I've been doing this now for 28 years so over the years I've just discovered these time frames nothing super unique in them but they just work really well so what I've got is a t19 now I'm in the market I'm looking well I'm not in the market yet I'm looking for a setup as I retrace just here what are my EMAs doing they are in a downtrend okay so I'm not ready yet as we come up here is trade one that I answered okay so I shorted five contracts now as I mentioned I'm a scalper so in most situations I'll use a fixed target I'll get to break even at a certain level once it ticks so much um, in my direction and then I'll exit at a predetermined price why 
that's what most scalpers do yes you can trial and you can do all sorts of other clever things but that's what I'll do most of the time with the exception if say I have a pivot now let's just say here I had a pivot uh, down now I'm just scrolling down here and I can't see a pivot there anyway but um, oh, and by the way there's a swing low so you can target swing lows but what's even more powerful is to target your pivots or your prior days open high low or close that there as I mentioned was the prior days close so that was my first trade thank you very much we then reversed and I actually missed this one at the time that was what I call a t10 on my higher time frame a really nice potential trade but I missed that but I then jumped in on this one and this is actually called a t20-1 now traders you'll hear me quote like t19s and a t10 what the hell are those well it's just a code I give to different patterns just makes it easier particularly when I'm um, teaching members in my live trading room how to trade these because I can just put the code on there if I've got their abbreviation sheet but this is a, uh, a t20-1 and this is trade number two and basically I was out just before the prior days close thank you very much so then we rallied up nicely I then um, I didn't take this trade here and I don't remember why but there was a little trade there I could have actually taken uh, and I don't remember specifically why but then I had a 2d now most of my members know that I love divergence trading however for newer traders or unprofitable traders I want you to look at um, uh, divergence trading is evil okay that is for a new trader until you're consistently profitable stick with trading with the trend there up there eventually uh, you may choose to introduce divergence trading to your arsenal however uh, on average when you've got inertia when the market is moving the trend will continue around 80% of the time when we also take a divergence trade if we're wrong we usually miss out on a great with trend trade so it's just a lot easier early in your career you don't trade divergence okay so I had what I call a 2d okay then turned into a t10 type setup and then I had can I swear for I I had what I call a brain fart I've got no idea why I took this long trade you know after I just I entered this trade I was um, obviously not 100% focused and I got stopped virtually straight away now one thing I want to say here is that you know I make mistakes too and, and it's so easy when you're not 110% focused but this is where we've got to apply what I call black block black box thinking and what do I mean by that we've got to look back yes dust ourselves off and say what did I do that for what can I learn from this what's not perfect yet uh, what did I learn from this trade what will I do differently next time what do I need to learn so this won't happen again and we apply the same sort of questions to our winning trades I want you to remember traders you want to swim with the flow of a river not against it and I was trading against the higher time frame and the entry chart reversing here so you know it was just a silly silly mistake now I got stopped then I saw a classic um, reversal signal which I then jumped in on trade number four now trade number four this is where sometimes I think mm, do I exit and I stayed with the trade but I actually should have got got out here and for members watching this okay I hit five steps I went to break even automatically on my matrix but then I lifted my stop back up uh, looking for that larger move but on reflection I really should have perhaps got out with the five steps and we see this time and time again uh, lower low followed by a lower high and when we look at this traders uh, trading is really all trends uh, we ask ourselves do I have a lower low and is that followed by a lower high or do I have a higher high followed by a higher low 
so I really should have got out there and re-entered uh, back in the market uh, just here so what actually happened then that then continued down here and uh, I got filled but um, on reflection that's really what I should have done so we then come uh, we came down I then come up and I then had a another trade set up right here now I don't know why I put note stop placement there that was something I put on uh, at the time but where would ah I know what it means <laughs> here it is here uh, we can see here we I then formed a little double top very important with the with the Nasdaq particularly with the NAS uh, I used to call it the nasty NAS why because it can get so whippy I've reframed the meaning I could now call it the nifty NAS is I like to place my stop one tick above on a lower time frame once I get up to an eight tick chart on the Renko that is I like to place my stop two ticks above the swing high or low and this came up and it's it come up right to the tick okay my stop was one tick above and it kept me in the trade so where we place our stop can be very very important then down we come a little bit of wriggle room and if you weren't in that trade there you had another uh, another classic uh, right there and you had another one just here so uh, my target as I mentioned is $200 per contract per day and I like to get in and get out as quick as I can finish my trading I've got a set target that does me really well now if you're a younger trader uh, or maybe you're after your four or five hundred dollars a contract that's where then you might trade during the London session or during the New York session you know the, the Nasdaq there is some great trading opportunities on the Nasdaq uh, uh, in the afternoon session that's correct in the New York session you can usually drop down from a 12 or a 16 tick back down to the 8 tick and the reason I love the Nasdaq traders is the trading range that we get you see you want to be trading a market where you've got liquidity uh, ideally where they've now got a micro contract which of course you've got on the ES you've got on the Dow the Russell on oil the the gold micro is too thinly traded for my liking but start on the micro then go to the Nasdaq but after hours is some fantastic trend trading opportunities so getting back to this then traders make sure you've um, uh, ticked on the box so you've got uh, you've been kept up to date um, uh, with um, all of my latest emails but also uh, read the webinar I've got going even better still invest $197 traders it includes all of the indicators uh, if you go to my website you'll see there there's links to where you can see what you actually receive in that but it's the last program you'll ever invest in and as I mentioned traders um, you can also attend uh, eight two-hour live sessions if you can't uh, training sessions if you can't attend the live training sessions they are recorded so thank you traders I look forward to seeing you on my or in my next video Cheers